Hi, first graders. Today's Water Wednesday. Let's read a nonfiction book all about swimming. Did you know I used to be a swimmer? I used to be on a swim team and I used to race. I used to do freestyle. I used to do backstroke when I was a kid and I loved it and I still love swimming. Let's read some facts about swimming. Be on the lookout for nonfiction text features like headings and glossaries and bold words. Let's read and read along with me. Make sure your voice sounds smooth. Swimming, there's a heading. Swimming is fun. People swim in a pool. Did you ever go in a pool before? Swimmers wear suits. Mm, this word suits is bold. It's, that's because it's an important word. Suits. When you wear suits in a pool, those are like bathing suits. This little boy has a bathing suit on. Girls wear bathing suits too. Swimmers wear suits. Some swimmers wear goggles. Goggles keep eyes dry. I noticed a label. This, this label is labeling the boys goggles. Do you know what goggles do for you when you're in the water? Goggles protect your eyes. When you go underwater, it's important to wear goggles if you're going to open your eyes. It is so cool when you open your eyes underwater in goggles because you see everything so clear. And if you've ever swam with somebody else, you can see them so clear. If you open your eyes underwater, which has happened to me before without goggles, your eyes burn. So make sure you protect your eyes. Wear goggles. Safety. Swimmers must stay safe. They do not swim alone. An adult must be near. There's a label, adult. Do you know what an adult is called that watches over swimmers? What is that called? What is their job? If you said lifeguard, you are right. A lifeguard protect swimmers. They watch over people that are swimming to make sure they are safe in the water. I used to be a lifeguard when I was younger. I used to lifeguard at a pool. And I thought I liked being a lifeguard because it made me feel good to, to be there for protection, to protect other people when they were swimming. How to swim. This swimmer is on his back. He moves his arms. He moves his legs. Do you know what stroke this is called? This is called backstroke. It looks like he's doing backstroke. I used to race and I used to do backstroke. So backstroke, you're in the water and you're moving your arms backwards. That's the kind of races I used to do. Backstroke races and freestyle. These swimmers race. They try to swim fast. The fastest one wins. I remember, I'm making a connection. I used to swim in these kind of lanes when I was racing. There are many ways to swim. They are all fun to learn. Do you know how to swim? Turn and tell a stuffed animal or a family member a time you went swimming, if you've ever gone swimming before. That is the end of this book all about swimming. Here is a glossary. A glossary has important words, shows important vocabulary words. And these, if you notice, these words were bolded. Adults, which is the, which showed the lifeguard, cool, goggles, and suits. Today, I, we want you to draw and write about a time you went swimming in a pool, a lake, or an ocean. Draw and write about it. If you've never gone swimming, make up a story. I can't wait to see your work. Happy Water Wednesday, boys and girls. See you later.